Oh boy. All right. You know what? You look. This is coming from the guy. Look, I don't cut this out of the video, guys. Boots doesn't know what we're doing with this this video yet, <laughs> and I'm 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 devastated how how badly you're doing this because you're the guy that used to do the you know the role play kind of uh, you know emergent series, and you were very good on the off the cuff and on, thinking on your feet. I, what happened, man? I'm, I'm rusty, man. I haven't made one of these videos in like how long? You got the boomer brain. A boomer brain. Yeah. I okay. I've come here for a reason, and that reason is to talk to you about some builds. Okay? Okay. Okay. okay cool. Um, right. Eventually, we're going to get to the build that I am not most excited by, but the, the one that I kind of wanted to talk about today. But before that, for some reason, I have to go through a few other builds to try to explain the process of how we got there. Is, okay. Is that okay with you? So this is like a multi-build. This is like a proper theory craft kind of kind of discussion we're about to get to. Kinda, kinda. Okay. Um, All right. Okay. okay so, are you aware? Are you aware that in PvP, uh, for the last I want to say two years or something like that, I have been, uh, or maybe three years, I have been playing a uh, Stoneheart Weaver. Um. um. Uh, no, I didn't. I didn't actually know what. Like exclusively, that's like your jam, is it? Pretty that? much, that is my jam. Yeah, a Stoneheart Weaver. I mean, obviously, uh, people will understand that it's not the greatest idea in the world. Uh, I, but because I've played it for so long, I have been refining it, um, iteration by iteration, uh, from a tanky do nothing Stoneheart Weaver to a pretty able duelist. Okay. Um, so, originally, the Stoneheart Weaver was, of course, Earth, Weaver, and Water. Because you had that combo where, well, obviously, in Earth, you, you take no crit damage, so you're, you're pretty protected against uh, power damage. And then you had the, the, the combo with Weaver that says whenever you get Swiftness or Super Speed, you get Regeneration. Whenever you get Regeneration, you remove a Condi. Because uh, of yeah, the water, so trick. that rounds you out against Condies. Yeah, and so yeah, that's fantastic, right? It's a pretty good combo, um, and you're very protected. Gotta say, you are very protected, except you don't do very much damage. Because I think I was also using like a Sage's amulet at the same time, and so right. so although that has a little bit of Condi damage and power to it, doesn't really have any crit chance or or, or ferocity or anything because it, it rounds it out with healing power and. Uh, vitality so although you took a long time to kill uh, you didn't really put enough pressure out there to to do much in the world could you could you win 1v1s you know on your own without needing someone to come support you oh yeah for sure but you know if something else had a lot of sustain and condi clear you probably wouldn't be able to take them down right okay um so so i got bored of that and so I, I, and I also got better at playing it in general. Um, so I was able to slowly but surely take away the training wheels, even though, even though technically Stoneheart itself is more than a training wheel. It's a huge crutch for me. <laughs> um, I, I was slowly able to take away all the training wheels from the build, like change um, Sage's Amulet to Grievers, for example and jesus exactly and take off um water attune uh water uh trait line and replace it with fire for example um right. and so now it is a pretty good duelist bag I, I think later on i'm gonna try to fight you with it um okay. but it's it's beyond that it's become more interesting because it's kind of become a stone heart um a stone heart conjure weapon spec oh wow <laughs> i've got to say i'm cynical about all of this right now yeah <laughs> well because you know so the the methodology behind maybe i should just be on my weaver right now while i'm explaining this but it, well how does it how does this turn into a scrapper story why are we starting on scrapper i don't know why i'm starting on scrapper <laughs> and i don't know why i'm starting at this point in the story but we're just going okay, this right, way right, okay let's just, let's just go through you all right all right so keep keep going regale me right okay so you, you know the 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 idea behind why it's a conjure ellie uh conjure whatever thing uh for the ellie stoneheart is because uh the idea behind 
being a stone heart weaver is you stay in earth attunement as your primary and then off you do like fire to do a lot of damage um and and the, unfortunately if you're wanting to stay protected all the time in your stone in your in your earth attunement then you are limited into the amount of skills you could use right um, so that's where the conjures come in that's where the conjures come in and with grievers you could use three of the conjures pretty well and do a ton of damage with them like uh, earth shield with grievers is very strong and also do, uh, very good for your utility um uh, obviously the the elite the um uh, the great FGS. sword yes yeah fgs is r ridiculous like in a group fight you lay it down at the beginning of the battle or whatever and you just tear through everything with a ton of damage with grievers um, and then I also use Lightning Hammer now. I didn't used to use Lightning Hammer, but I use Lightning Hammer now because, uh, again, a good amount of, uh, you know, uh, CC pressure. And then with that uh, Lightning Hammer 4 skill, you do a ton of damage. You could do like 9k damage with it, with Grievers. Sorry, sorry, sorry. You're not telling me the one build has all of those on the bar. That's correct. <laughs> what? Wait, <laughs> this is not a good build. This is hey, not a good build. Okay, what? What have you learned? Also, what have you learned <laughs> with no, I'm, I'm nine years of knowing one. me? What have you learned so far about my builds? That you like synergies. And no, I no, no. That I like that. bad builds. Of course no, it's not no, a good think, build. Well, let me ask you. Let me ask you. What is it? Why is Conja Flame Axe not on that list? I would have oh, thought it's... a little bit of range. Uh, you know, yeah. some, some might bumping you up. Hybrid damage. It's got burns on there. It's, it's, it's good. It's not great, though. You could, really? Yeah, it's it's like a little bit too flimsy. That makes me very disappointed. I like the Flame Axe. It's, I mean, I it's really, an, really Flame Axe is pretty nice. It just doesn't have enough like utility to it. It's got a big role. I mean, you, well, let me rephrase. I like the idea of Flame Axe. Fine, okay. But I never really use it, so... Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Um, but yeah, you, you probably need at least one of your utilities to do something like break stuns. <laughs> Boots, boots, a bit, a weaver build uh -huh. with all those conjure weapons uh -huh. is like the most weapon skills you can put on any build uh -huh. imaginable in Guild Wars 2. Yeah. I mean, that's so many buttons if you really think about it. Yeah, I know. Uh, and cool. you know what What else the, the uh, lightning hammer did? Okay, so here now we get into why I'm on different things, okay? Um, why well, I'm going to talk about three or four different builds in this video. <laughs> you know what the lightning hammer also did? It made it me. A it gave me a small taste of uh, with the lightning hammer two skill, a small taste of having quickness on elementalist. Uh, okay. And I was like, oh, this is nice. I like I like having quickness on elementalist. This is a this is a nice change. And you know that's why whenever we talk about what I want in EOD for an elementalist spec, I always say, oh, I would love to have like quickness or alacrity for an elementalist as some like a self buffing quickness elementalist. Um. And, uh, and so, yeah, so now we go to this, um, NG spec, this, this scrapper spec that I'm on. Okay. I, li I like where this is going. Okay. This, this is something I've tried before, but I did it on Firebrand. I think if I'm following you correctly. Maybe, maybe. But okay. So, so at the same time I as all of this stuff was happening, me, me trying out these things, Celestial Gear got a buff, a huge buff. Right. But it's not in PvP. It's not in PvP. So yeah, it, we're, we're going to divert from PvP a little bit now. Okay. Um, oh yeah, so that's one thing. I tried Celestial Gear on the same build as I was using PvP, but removed the Griever stuff and put on the Celestial Gear. And you know what? It works. It works really well. Yeah, dude, I really, really... I've been looking for a good Ellie build for open world standard gameplay. And I fell on Celestial about three weeks ago, really recently. And I'm in, I'm in love with it. It's so, so ridiculously, like, tanky and just, like, consistent with its damage. Every attunement feels good. It's every true. facet of every ability feels it's good. True. It's It's great. It's so good. It's really good. Um, and, and uh, so, yeah, I was playing around with Celestial Ellie in, in uh, PvE a lot. And then I, I was trying out my, um, my PvP build with Celestial Gear in World vs. World. And it works. It works against most things. Um, and you know, you know, a lot of people run crazy power builds out there, like just one shot stuff, and it just survives that and is able to take things down in the meantime. Um, so, so I like playing around with that. However, I can't play my Stoneheart 
Weaver in P general PvE because Stoneheart is completely useless in general PvE. And there's nothing crits you. There's nothing crits you. Like, I think you, they have a 5% chance of critting. So, yeah, it's completely useless. And, and no ferocity of their own. No ferocity of their own. And it's just kind of like not fun to play in because you, you kind of want to kill things a lot faster, right? In uh, Yeah. Yeah. Um, no, I think you're right. I think Stoneheart has got to be one of the least fun things things Hello, to do in pve yeah in pvp like, it's really? great because you frustrate a lot of people and then when they least expect it you you do your spike rotations and you kill them um but yeah in pve not so much so uh i'll talk about a build i developed for sally ellie uh last but for uh, for actual pve but first let's talk about this uh quickness this quickness idea for so so yeah also, Scrapper got a rework, right? It got a little bit of a new trait, a Grandmaster trait, mm -hmm. that says any time you get um, super speed, you get some quickness. And of course, you can make a permanent quickness Scrapper now, uh, and you could also make a permanent super speed Scrapper. So uh, this, this is a build I made for Scrapper that uses Celestial Gear, because you got that nice boon duration on it, and you got a lot of other stuff going for it. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, it is a permanent quickness, permanent swiftness, uh, super speed scrapper. Um, good for world versus world because you get away from a lot of things, and it's just a lot of fun. I, I and I, I think you could find a better build out there for world versus world. Like if you go pure power, uh, Valen made a really good build for uh, that. Okay, um, but I I stayed with uh, celestial gear, so I wanted to try to make use of all the Connie uh, pressure you could get from it as well. And okay. so I ended up like just doing a bunch of kits. I had the bomb kit, and I got the tool kit, and I got. Uh... <laughs> I should have seen the kits come in. I should given the conjure weapon discussion a second ago. Exactly. I, I just so I love having lots of utilities and like skills at my disposal. Probably because I love playing Ellie, and and what this did. So like having the super speed and having the quickness uptime and having like all of this going on. Uh, it's a lot of fun to play, obviously, and uh, it's just like fast running around. But what it really does, it gave me like a feeling with all the kids of playing Ellie. And it just made me be like, man, I really just want an Ellie that has permanent quickness and hopefully permanent right. super speed. Um, and yeah, so I think I did that. Oh, interesting. So that's what the Ellie build is. It's a Selly Quickness Ellie. It's a Selly Quickness Ellie, and it's not very good. Like, I would not take this into World vs. World, um, but it is it is very fun for general PvE. And I'm going to swap over my Ellie now and tell you about it. The, okay, the, there was one fourth build that I wanted to talk about a little bit, but I'm not going to. It's the fact that because of Celestial Armor, I'm able to like keep the same gear on a character now and just swap builds and it's like a completely different feeling. And right. but it still works because Celestial Armor is amazing. Same. And yeah. so so with the uh, scrapper, I have that crazy quickness scrapper, super speed scrapper that's really fun. And then just swapping builds without changing armor at all, you can have a really fun uh, hybrid uh, hollow man, uh, ho hollow smith. And uh, I've been playing with that as well. And it, it does more damage than the quickness scrapper, but it doesn't have the quickness and not the, not as much as the super speed, but it's still a lot of fun. And uh, so taking that one step further, I went from my Selly Ellie, um, my Selly Ellie Stoneheart Weaver, which is, you know, its own very specific play style to the same gear almost, except for the runes I swap, almost exactly the same gear. And a completely opposite build. Like, just the absolute opposite in terms of what it does. Right. And, uh, and yeah, here we are. We're, uh, we're with the, I want to call it, like, the most aggro Ellie build in the world, even though it's not, like, it's not, it's not a PvP build, I would say. But it's very aggro. Um, and right, so this is an open world build. Is this what you're saying? I would just use it for open world. Yeah. Okay. I, like maybe you could use it for PvP, uh, not for PvP, but for like you could bring it into world versus world. Um, you will not use it for raids. It's not good enough for raids. Um, you can maybe use it for open, uh, uh, world versus world if you're like a better player than me. 
<laughs> but I think it's too squishy for that <laughs> in general. I like the idea of pairing all this quickness with Ellie and Open World. I think that 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 sounds really fun to me, genuinely. Yeah, I know, like, I know. Like this, this is what I, I want missing. for the new Elite Spec, and I'm just just like <laughs> just like I did with um uh with the with the thief the core thief right before uh heart of thorns came out i was like i want a really dodgy thief and i made this build it's a really dodgy thief and then daredevil came out with a boots <laughs> with a boot symbol on it and i was like oh thank you <laughs> thank you for doing uh, that for me that's you inspired them i see <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. that's what really happened there um it's interesting to me that you went high quickness uptime ellie for open world and you went weaver not tempest i mean that quickness feels really fun on overloads right it would be really fun on overloads yeah you're right i, I mean honestly you could go tempest i just kind of love weaver and there is another right, okay. aspect that uh that i wanted to try out in a build that actually, you could you this build would probably be better, honestly, if you did Tempest. Um, but there was another aspect that I wanted to try out in a build to make it especially aggro that I'll talk about as well. It, it's not necessarily um, synergistic with the fact that you have quickness all the time, but it's it's fun as well. Um, okay. So so okay. So how do we get the permanent quickness? Well, yeah, you get a lot of boon duration from so. Uh, from celestial gear first of all you get like over 40 percent boon duration from celestial gear so that ups your quickness whatever quickness you could give yourself quite a bit um on top of that so you you got your lightning hammer and it gives base three seconds of quickness every eight seconds but if you're traded for conjure weapons it's every six seconds so that would be 50 percent uptime of quickness kind of but it takes a little bit of time to you know ca like hit them so a little bit. You have to land it. You have to land it. it you have to, to land it. In PVE, it's not a thing that you have to worry about, though. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then the the rest of the quickness comes from your sigils. So you got your superior sigil of celerity, gain quickness for five seconds every twenty seconds after disabling a foe, um, and that I mean you have a ton of stuns and stuff on your uh, on on a on a weaver build, and even on your hammer. And then uh, just superior sigil of rage, three seconds every twenty seconds, just on critically hitting a foe. So that's oh, you just went rage. Yeah, <laughs> it's just like straight up easy. Uh, and then to round it out, yeah, I did use firebrand runes to uh, up the quickness duration on uh, specifically quickness duration for everything. So I it comes up to um, eighty percent quickness duration. Right. Right. So you have more than more than enough quickness to have a uh, hundred percent quickness uptime with this now. But like you said earlier, any kind of boon duration, like like fireworks and yeah. stuff like that, that would be very very good as well. Yeah, right? I think I think you don't even need the quickness runes to to fully get it. But but then you would be have to be in um, uh, your lightning hammer more often than you would probably want to be. Okay. Um. So the other thing I want to talk about with this build, which is the, the super aggro part about it, is, um, is yeah, so a nice little combo that I like to use now, which is fire and air specializations and burning rage with sunspot, right? Right. Mm -hmm. And fresh air with obviously electric discharge so okay so you're trying to bomb by going in and out of uh air and fire yeah you you basically um stay in fire and air and rotate through your fire air air fire air air as fast as you can and you do like a ridiculous amount of extra damage just from doing that and uh, you're toggling into fire to for sunspot damage for sunspot damage you're toggling and you're toggling into air for electric discharge damage. Yeah. Oh wait, did you just say you're running the GM that explodes your? That's uh, right, pyromancer's puissance as well. Right. Yeah. Go on. Yeah. So then, when you swap out of fire attunement uh, into any attunement, but in this case, it's air because you're getting that extra lightning bolt when you do that, uh, you actually get an additional strike that uh, that's a base minimum strike damage of 500 in an area around you. Is it? Didn't this concept appear in a video of yours recently where you were just auto attacking with an earth shield and doing that? Was that a thing? Uh, yeah, but that wasn't, like, a main aspect of it. That was just, like, a afterthought. Right, yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. Um, but I guess, I mean, I guess, technically, if you're in a group of people fighting something, you will be giving them a decent amount of might for some reason. 
yeah. yeah, but uh, but no, it's mostly for that little extra burst damage when you swap out of fire. So yeah, it's just the playstyle is super aggro. So like I don't know, let's I guess go to a golem or something just to show you how it kind of works. Okay, which waypoint did you just hit? Uh, the close one. Okay. So you engage with your Parlaric Leap, um, and then just sort of like hit your high damage fire and uh, air skills. So like your your dual attack Pyro Vortex is really strong with this. Um, you, 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 your flame uprising is pretty good. Oh, I'm using the wrong, uh, there we go. I'm using dagger, sword dagger for extra boom. Uh, and then when you double the tune in air, your, your th three attack is pretty good too. Um, so yeah, you just kind of like go like that, do a ton of damage and it's, yeah, it's, a, it's a lot of fast bursty damage. And Can you just auto attack this for me and just do air fire, air fire. Just on the oh, sure. Damage. Yeah. And then, see, now the one one problem is you have a four second cooldown on your, um, on your, what's it called? On your fire attunement when you swap out of it. So what can you do to boost your damage? Because you don't want to wait four seconds all the time, right? Are you telling me what elite you're using right now? Well, that is one of the things. Yes, you could use Weave Self, which of course reduces the cooldown of all of your attunements for like 20 seconds to two seconds instead of four seconds. Oh god, is this an unravel build? Are you running unravel, <laughs> weave self, conjure weapons? Is that your what your utilities are like? Uh, maybe. <laughs> oh, boom, so not a lot of conjure, just one conjure mind. weapon. Unravel, baby. So like when you're not using <laughs> weave self, which reduces all the cooldowns to two second, um, you might be using unravel a few times because. Uh, Fantastic. I know, I know. So you go in, you swap to your fire, you, you get out of fire, then it's a whole four seconds and you hate that, right? And your weave self is on cooldown, so you're like, oh shit, I'm screwed. But no, you could just press unravel and go straight back into fire and then swap back into lightning again. See, it's great. It's great. Is unravel boon, is the might from unravel fueling your grandmaster trait as well? How, how does that work? I can't quite remember. I'm obviously not on Ellie, so I can't see. But you get boons when you unravel, right? Based on the attunement. Is that the attunement you're currently in or the one you're going to swap? I think it's, well, I think it's the one you're currently in. So you'd be getting ah, that's fury a shame. from that, unfortunately. Yeah, that's a shame. Yeah. That's a shame. Yeah. You could do unravel while you're in fire by accident. But that would do nothing. <laughs> True. Fresh air would already have opened air and then, yeah, that would be the worst thing. <laughs> <laughs> Although, no, but you yeah. could unravel, like, to double a tune. No, you can, you, it would automatically double a tune. So, no, yeah, you yeah, can't. You can't, you can't. Anyway... I'll have some footage of just like the fun aggro nature of it. It's like the reason why quickness on Ellie is so much fun is because uh, you have so many skills to use, right? You have just like so many skills at your disposal. And unless you have quickness, there's no way you're going to use all the skills you want uh, in enough time before the other ones that you also want to use are off cooldown. So like with quickness... You could actually use all the skills and then eventually be out of skills to use on Ellie, finally. Yeah. That's great. It's just great. And uh, I don't know what else to say. Well, I'm just watching as you do this here, your quickness up time. And you're right, it's sticking on there. It really is sticking on a lot longer than I thought. It's 100% it's it's quickness up time. What, what I'm really impressed with is how much quickness that is. Because to me, it's like, oh, I got Lightning Hammer and in PvE... The idea of summoning a lightning hammer and then picking up the old one after you've already moved on to a new area of the map, you know, yeah, that like sucks. The idea that you're, t but it's it looks really, I mean, really simple to be honest. And also, it looks like you do it on the engage, and then you've got so much buffered up. Yeah, and lightning it's hammer's good. on a sixty second cooldown, so it's like not that long. And you got your yeah. you got your thing, and then you can even like if you want to be really lazy, you could even do the attunement swaps and just stick in lightning hammer. And it's actually a little bit more tanky than not doing that because. Your lightning hammer auto attack blinds your foes, so... Boots, this has genuinely inspired me. I really do want to try this out in open world. Really. Yeah, it's fun. Oh, and on top of that, obviously you're going to be running your signet of restoration. Selly quickness, that might be the bit, because Selly feels slightly too tanky to me. Slightly too low pressure. But yeah, you got Adding the quickness to it, you might have fixed it. You might have I done think it I have, and you don't even have to use lightning hammer, because just using the two sigils gives you like hold on let me check so three turns into five in a bit and then five turns into eight in a bit yeah off of um off of an engage with a polaric leap uh you have like 13 seconds of quickness just off the bat 
on a 20 second right. you, you're saying polaric leap you mean lightning hammer 2 though don't you no polaric no i'm saying i'm distorted. saying you if you wanted to run uh a selly ellie quickness combo you would not right. even need to necessarily bring like oh because po po polaric leap is the daze which procs the sigil of Soleri. i got you yeah exactly so so just from the two sigils and uh and cel uh, celestial armor um you well i mean i think you get like 10 seconds of quickness but you probably have a 50 percent quickness uptime just with those two sigils um and then if you have the firebrand runes you get it up to like 13 uh 13 seconds every 20 seconds so a little bit more and then yeah the lightning hammer rings it over the top but you don't need it i guess i'm thinking i'm thinking for my sensibilities i would do like I, I would go for it, but I wouldn't go the whole way. I wouldn't go for the hundred percent quickness uptime, but I just think that the value for like I wouldn't go as far as far as firebrand runes, for example. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But getting that baseline on there, I think, is really, really, really strong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's great. So I mean, the quickness Something. concept can kind of go to a bunch. Of, I I was just thinking about this before we did this video. Like I haven't fleshed it out very much, but when you think about it, celestial armor having so many stats on everything, giving you 40%, 45% base boon duration, right? Right. All you need is a Rage Sigil and a Celerity Sigil. And you could give any class, essentially, that doesn't usually get quickness, 50% of time of quickness, probably. It, it's, it's what you're talking about there is such a powerful baseline it's unreal. I would, I, if I could, I would have every new player on that immediately. But the thing is, it's really hard to get celestial gear that's like cheaply. Yeah. So okay, let's and just it's... let's just theory crap. Besides Ellie, which is an obvious one, what other classes would benefit? Like, obviously, Mesmer has a got a lot of interesting. Rev, Rev does. Rev benefits massively. FB builds benefit massively. I'm like on the celestial. Train. Yeah, but all of those all things builds. have quickness ready built into them like not, not chronomancer fb definitely it depends how you build them though it depends i guess yeah. i i do you're right about fb um but i don't run like the quickness mantra on on my open world fb build i don't run that i run a celerity sigil yeah but the trace and themselves I, you know well. quickness quickness especially on fb is so big because the, the minor trait means quickness equals 250 combat yeah. damage and 250 toughness and all that stuff yeah so like it is a big a big uh sorry vitality not toughness mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, I think uh, mo most builds. Most really. builds would. Like Quickness Warrior. Like, uh, what do you have on Warrior that gives you Quickness? Just Frenzy? What else? Well, there's plenty. I, I Again, I, I really like to go for the Quickness. I like Axelfand, which is good Quickness. That's true. Yeah. There's a Grandmaster trait, which is Quickness at, at when you strike something below 50%. Like, there are some sources already there. Yeah. Uh, Berserker is particularly what I'm looking at for Open World at the moment mm -hmm. on that. And you can get some Quickness, obviously, when you go into Berserker. True, true, true. So, I don't know. I, I, but Warrior is a weird one to me. Yeah. Um, but, like, Hollow. Hollow, um, I love for Open World, I love Hollow with Sword. And that trait that increases like heat thresholds because that's like infinite quickness with like uh, elixir you and stuff. I love quickness hollow. Mm -hmm. I don't know about celly hollow. Cell Cell no, I, I, I told you I'm I running a celly hollow and it's pretty good. Yeah, you did say. Yeah, yeah, because you get the fire damage I, 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 from it. Yeah, yeah, I guess you're right. Mm -hmm. um, um, let's see what else. Uh, Soul Beast as well. I don't know about Selly on it, but again, Soul Beast is like one of those things where it's like, I just, I really like having quickness in open world. Yeah. You know, like I, I, I try to identify why I love Reaper so much a lot of the time. And I think it's just because the, the perma quickness in Shroud just feels so good. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. um, oh, there's a Billy, don't let me undermine Reaper. There's obviously a ton in that kit that makes it the top dog. But, um, man, Gale has a four second knockdown. Yeah, it's very, very long. Uh, but yeah, so I would say that, yeah, Celerity, Celerity Sigil and Raid Sigil on any build with Celestial Armor is a great idea because you get 50% base <laughs> quickness duration almost just from that. And uh, you could run any build you want after that. By the way, just to be clear, you keep saying it using that phrase Celestial Armor. You do mean and trinkets and weapons. Yeah, right? Celestial everything. Yeah, Sully Gear. Sully Gear. Because um, also what it does is with the Celerity Sigil, um, some you know some people might r r randomly use their CC skills if they're new in PvE 
not knowing whether or not it's useful. But now it's going to be useful no matter what. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I like it. I like the concept. I really do. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, yeah. So one last thing about this build. Uh, Signature to Restoration is what I'm using for the heal skill. Because with, um, you know, with a lot of con with a, with a lot of quickness, you're using skills a lot faster, making that heal per cast a lot more useful. And also, uh, when you go into fire, that's a skill uh, that's a skill that gives you a little signet restoration. And then when you swap out of fire into air attunement, it gives you three, I think, or two, two, or, like you do it twice, it gives you three casts. It's like nine hundred healing uh, whenever you swap to air attunement double. Right. Which happens every four seconds, so it's very strong. Yeah, I, I quite like that. Yeah. Yeah. That is cool. Yeah. Um, you're not arcane though, right? Uh, no, I'm not arcane. See, arcane is interesting because it would reduce you could the heal cool. every swap and reduce the cooldown. Yeah, I mean, if you wanted to be a lot tankier and less damagey, and all the boon juggling, all the boons from yeah. which obviously you got all that concentration. Yeah, the question is, would you drop um, fire or air you, for that? Yeah, exactly. You lose the synergy, don't you? Mm -hmm. It. I really like the sunspot electric discharge duality. Me too. I wouldn't want to lose that. Exactly. So, and you kind of have to if you want to stay a weaver anyway. Yeah, sun, Sunspot and the Pyromantis Puissance. It's like nice damage, nice Condi damage, all happening just because you're swapping in two mints, and it's a lot of damage. Ooh, that's cool. Yeah, okay, well, I mean, I think I'm done here, man. Well, I think... I'll, 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 probably send, I'll probably send you an excited message later talking about my, how our quickness is gone. Okay, great. And, then... and also, I'd like to say that I might be done until the new Elite Specs come. Because I think I think I'm oh. I'm spent. I'm spent, guys. We've had a long time with the POF specs. We've had a long time with the POF specs, and I am looking forward to the EOD specs. Uh, I'm sure there's gonna be like a balance patch or two before then, and maybe I'll get some ideas. But I don't think they're gonna dramatically change anything anymore. No, me neither. I feel like they're just making space for the elite specs now. That's why there's been all these Condi buffs because they're going power, baby. Oh, I hope so. I hope so. Especially like Virtuoso is definitely power. Yeah. Yeah. Oh boy. I think we're gonna see a lot of power. Oh, you know what'd be good on Virtuoso? What was that? Quickness. <laughs> yeah, I wonder how quickness affects a lot of those anime. That 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 spec's ridiculous. It looked it looked ridiculous, yeah. Um Alright, well I'll talk to you later I guess, and uh I hope that this video Thanks for having me on man. No problem. I hope that this video um it's not like a real boots bad build video. It's gonna be like weird but i hope that some people like listening to us talk randomly about stuff no, I, I think i think it's good man you just gotta talk and people like to hear what you have to say great all right well i'll see you later man thanks uh yeah have me on anytime goodbye mm -hmm.